Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Scale Modeling with Mike Ashey. In number eight of our continuing series of scale model tutorials, I'm going to show you how I paint and weather resin 2 details 3D printed 148 scale R2600 engine fronts. These 148 scale radial engines have an unprecedented level of detail, and if you follow my techniques, you'll find that they're very easy to paint. I used IMAX detail brushes and enamel gloss gray, enamel gloss black, zinc chromate green, a clear flat paint, all clad, lacquer based aluminum, gunmetal, chrome, and copper, and dark gray pastel dust for weathering. The resin 2 detail engines in any scale have no assembly associated with them whatsoever. And the first step is to soak them in warm soapy water and then rinse them off. After they're completely dry, give them a coat of gloss gray. This color will become the base coat. Each cylinder was painted with the aluminum color and then just the upper parts of the cylinder heads, which is the large area of each cylinder, was painted with the gunmetal color. Because these lacquer paints are so thin, the paint seeped down between the tops of the cooling veins into the recessed areas, giving each cylinder a three-color appearance. Using the IMAX 10-0 detail brush, I painted the background plate zinc chromate green, and then the oil pump and the tops of the push rods gloss black. Using the IMAX 10-0 detail brush again, I carefully painted the push rods chrome, and then I painted the spark plug collector ring and the spark plug wires the copper color. Using tiny amounts of paint on the tip of the 10-0 brush, it was a little time consuming, but it worked well. These colors, in combination with careful painting, give these engines a realistic appearance and depth. The gloss gray color makes it very easy to slide a decal on where the manufacturer's plate needs to be and I found these little black decals in my scrap decal box. With both engines painted we're almost done. You could actually use them looking like they're brand new or we could weather them a bit. The engine on the right was weathered with dark gray pastel dust applied with this flat brush. The strokes of the brush were from the tip where the propeller shaft is onto the cylinders and then onto the background plate. I created the pastel dust by rubbing a pastel pencil across a stationary piece of sandpaper and then dabbing the flat brush onto the surface of each engine. The pastel dust also tones down the appearance of the paints. The last step is to seal the pastel dust. And to do that, I airbrushed a clear flat paint onto the engines. Thanks for watching our tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Scale Modeling with Mike Ashey, and give us a thumbs up. And if you get the chance, don't forget to visit us at www.mikeashey.com. I want to take this opportunity to thank Ben Sound for the royalty-free music. Happy scale modeling.